Ready to share your channel with the world? I'm gonna give you the launch plan that helped one of my clients go from scratch to over 4,000 subscribers in seven days in this episode. Oh, and don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell for new videos every single week. Welcome to The Sunny Show, for the bright side of being your own boss and building your own life. Hey boss, I'm Sunny Linerizzi and I'm so excited to share this strategy with you because the last thing you want when you start your YouTube channel is to just hear cricket when you put out your new videos. You want an audience sitting there waiting and really excited about your new content. So whether you're just starting out or you're just deciding to get serious about YouTube, this strategy will help you gain serious momentum. Step one of this strategy is pretty simple. You just basically want to tease or like I call it, sending a warning signal. You're basically going to send out a signal to your audience that your YouTube channel is coming. So how do you do this and how do you get your, your audience excited about it? Well, you want to ask them questions and ask them what they want to hear from you. So one of my best tactics for kind of sending out a warning signal is tell your audience the YouTube channel is coming, you're super excited about it, and you want to know what kind of content they want from you. So some great questions to ask them, and you can do this on things like SurveyMonkey, that's one of my favorite platforms to do surveys on. Uh, you just ask them, what's your biggest struggle right now with and it's dependent on whatever your niche is. So maybe you're a nutritionist. You wanna know what's your biggest struggle with nutrition or what's your biggest struggle with fitness right now or what's your biggest struggle with meditation or what's your biggest struggle with your YouTube channel. And that really helps people open up and give you answers to what they're looking for and the things that they would be searching for uh, to get answers or get their problems solved on YouTube. And those are the kinds of videos that you want to be creating. So this helps you get some content ideas in the bank before you officially launch your channel and it gets your audience excited about your new content that's coming out on your new YouTube channel. Step number two, you wanna prepare your channel for liftoff. And in order to do that, you need to make sure that your channel is set up like a boss. So you can watch my last video on how to attract viewers to your videos. Make sure you check that out because it includes all of the things that you need to do with each video to make sure people click on your video versus anyone else's. Plus, make sure below this video I have my Boss YouTube channel checklist. If you haven't implemented that checklist and those 14 steps in setting your channel up for success, you need to make sure that's done before you officially put your channel out there for the world to see. Step number three is go live. Going live on YouTube is such an incredible way to kick off your channel. Now, you're not gonna go live right now. There's another step to this piece, but I wanted to mention this as kind of the crux of how you're gonna launch your channel. Why? Because live streams, once they're not live anymore, can still rank in YouTube. These videos can still get evergreen traffic for years to come. So you wanna go live and do something or do a topic that you know your audience is really excited about and you'll know that after completing step one with asking them in the survey what they wanna hear from you. So the next step is to set a party date. So this is really your kickoff party for your channel. This is the official launch. And what you're gonna to do to launch your channel is go live. You can do this from mobile or you can do this from desktop. It's way easier to go live on, mo on uh, mobile than it is on desktop, so I would recommend starting there. You already have content topics for the kind of content your audience wants from you, so just turn one of those topics into your first live stream. Now, why is going live so valuable to kick off your channel? Well, one, it draws a bunch of attention to your channel on one single day, so it's gonna increase engagement, Plus, lives generally are longer than pre-produced videos, so it increases the amount of watch time on your channel, which increases your authority in the YouTube algorithm. Plus, it builds relationships with your subscribers right off the bat. So what you're gonna do is set the party date, set your date of when you're actually gonna go live, and then you're gonna promote this live stream on social media and to your email list if you have one. And your only call to action is say, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when we go live. This builds a base of subscribers before you even put out your first video. The next step is preparing complimentary content. Now I talked about this in my latest video on how to get more views and I definitely recommend watching this video after this and that is 
complimentary content to this content. So before you go live, with all of the information you got from your audience about what kind of topics they wanna hear from you, you're gonna pre-produce or film and edit a batch of a few videos that are all complimentary and lead to one another. So you could do a video, in, for example, on my channel, it could be how to get more views on YouTube, then how to attract viewers on YouTube, then how to launch a YouTube channel. All of those are related to one another. You create a series of some kind to keep people on your channel, which again, increases your watch time. Step number five is once you have your topics, the best thing to do to stay consistent on YouTube from day one is batch shoot your content. So prepare at least four video topics and shoot them all in one day. It's actually what we're doing right now. We're shooting several videos at once so that I don't have to be shooting every single week. And that takes up a lot of time and energy. So we do it all in one day and then get them edited. It's a much easier way to stay consistent. If you're trying to film your videos every single week, Ain't nobody got time for that. And the final step is to go live. Now, if there's people, I'm actually live on my phone right now. So if there's people watching this, which there are, um, this is just a test, but that's as easy as it is. I simply open the YouTube app and I hit go live, hit the little camera right at the top, prep the title, and then I'm live on YouTube. So this is for a future video on how to launch your YouTube channel. Hi everyone, <laughs> hi Jessica. Um, and I'm showing other people how to launch their channel in a way that's going to gain momentum. So the final step of the strategy is just to go live and interact with your audience like I'm doing right now. <laughs> hi, we're behind the scenes right now. So you can flip it, Jer, if you want. I'm doing a video coming up on how to launch your YouTube channel to gain momentum, uh, whether you're just starting out or you're actually um, just getting serious about YouTube. So this is our set. Welcome, everyone. We're filming like 10 videos today. This is the whole crew we have here. Um, and yeah, we're on the final step of the strategy. So I'm going to film my outro and you guys can watch me film my outro. Now, after you go live, that video stays on your channel. And as I mentioned, the great thing about it is that video can actually rank for you. So you, you wanna make sure that you go back in, especially if you did your live by a mobile, and add your title, add your tags, add your description, and add your thumbnail. Make sure that you add that in there so that video gains momentum for years to come for you. So that's the full strategy of how to launch your YouTube channel and gain serious momentum, whether you're just starting out or you're just getting serious about your channel. If you like this video, give me a like below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next video. And once you go live, like I said, it's like any other video can actually rank for you. So make sure that you don't forget to optimize it. Add a title, tags, description, and thumbnail to gain views moving forward and even more subscribers for the channel. Okay, so now you know how to launch your channel. Let me know what you thought of this strategy in the comments below. But once you launch your channel, you wanna get even more subscribers and more viewers, right? So I've created a guide and a case study on how to go from zero to 100,000 subscribers in under a year. So make sure you check this out. This is based on one of my clients and their success and exact strategy that you can follow. Plus, make sure you watch my video on how to get your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's linked in the cards and in the description as well. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your fellow bosses, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.